Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Poloi. And in today's video, we're going to have another of those paint removal challenges that I know you all like. Recently, you'll have seen me restore this uh, vintage Masters of the Universe Skeletor figure, which was completely covered in black paint. And as you can see, he's looking really rather nice now. Well, I've just been sent this, which is a flying fist team man. And as you can see, someone has gone to town with the uh, paint on him. He is absolutely covered in paint. The only thing that's not covered in paint is his head. And I can't quite work out why that hasn't been painted. Maybe someone just decided that that was the best part of him. But you can see this guy is completely covered in paint. In fact, I'm going to bring in another Flying Fist T-Man so you can see what he should look like. There is quite a lot of paint to remove. Whether it can be removed, I really don't know at this stage, but that is what we're going to be trying in this video. Can we make this Flying Fist T-Man look a bit more like this Flying Fist T-Man? Let's find out. OK, so here you go. This is uh, what the Flying Fist He-Man looks like at the start. As you can see, someone has uh, really gone to town on him. They painted his legs yellow, his boots blue. It's got some sort of bronzy paint on his pelvis there. We've got blue paint on his chest and red paint on his arms. Yeah, it's a real sort of mess of colours. Whether it can be uh, sort of cleaned up, that's what we're going to find out today. This is not like a normal uh, He-Man figure. Nor with normal He-Man figures, you can pull the legs off. But with uh, this version of uh, He-Man, there's a different uh, construction to him. So it makes it a little bit more awkward to uh, take apart. But I think we should still be able to take a few bits off, like his arms and his head, and that will make it a little bit easier to clean. I've been doing a few little tests off camera just to see what's going on with this paint and actually the paint is not very well adhered to the plastic if you see here I can scrape it with my nail and bits of the paint are already coming off so that does give me some hope that we are going to be able to remove this because underneath this blue paint there is a lovely amount of chrome in fact you can see it's just poking through there and I don't want to damage that and some of the ways to remove paint may cause issues with it so we're just going to have to sort of see what happens the first thing I want to do though is actually try and give this just a a wash in hot soapy water because this paint is flaking already I'm kind of hoping that some of it will just come off as we wash it if I use a toothbrush with the sort of the bristles the paint may start to flake off and that's what I want to try so that's the first thing to do I'm going to fill the sink up with some hot soapy water and give this a scrub and see what happens before I start using any of these sort of other harsher chemicals it's always worth trying things first before you go down the route of harsh chemicals so yeah let's give this a go and see what happens <laughs>
Right, so that has been very interesting indeed. And a lot of the paint has actually come off and it's shown some interesting things underneath. First up is the fact that this is not his arm. This is from uh, another He-Man figure, not sure which one, but you can see it's got a blue uh, finish to it. So uh, yeah, that is not the right arm. It should be a flesh colored arm like this. But the interesting thing was all the paint on this arm just flaked off just uh, by sort of picking it with my fingernail and scrubbing it with a brush. It all came off very easily. The last bits I've left there just because I got bored of doing it and I don't actually need this arm. But for some reason on this arm, the paint really doesn't want to come off at all. It's really well stuck on. So I've been sort of picking away at that and I managed to get a little bit off, but it really doesn't want to shift. The good thing though is that most of the paint, most of the blue paint anyway, came off of the chrome and underneath you can see the chrome is in really lovely condition. It's a bit sort of more stuck to this gold paint on the sides and also on the belt here. That I just couldn't get the paint off. And then we've got areas again painted with red. So under this should be a flesh colour paint. The red paint just won't shift from that. Likewise on his legs I couldn't get any of that to shift. So we've got a little bit further along. We've now started to see what is underneath uh, all of that paint. The head actually is in really nice condition so you can see that doesn't need anything doing to it but we're going to have to use some uh, stronger chemicals to try and get the rest of this paint off. I am going to do a quick test with this arm here and drop it into some dot four brake fluid and see if that removes the paint on this. I'm hoping it does. If it does we can then start having a go at removing the paint from his legs but I want to be especially careful around here because the dot four brake fluid can damage the chrome and as you can see at the moment it is looking really nice. So um, yeah, let's do a little test. We'll drop this in the brake fluid for half an hour and see what happens to the paint and once we can see uh, what happens uh, we'll go from there. So yeah let's drop this in the brake fluid. We'll wait for about half an hour and then see what happens. See what happens to the paint. See if it starts to dissolve and loosen and hopefully it will because uh, that will give us some hope for getting the rest of this figure actually looking quite decent. It's now been in the uh, dot four brake fluid for about half an hour so let's give this a test and see if anything has started to happen. You can normally tell if it's going to work within the first half hour so uh, let's just give this a test. Okay, as you can see, I'm starting to get a few little bits of the uh, paint flaking away. It's definitely working, but it's uh, pretty thickly painted on. So this is going to take a lot more soaking. The blue paint does come off much easier. That's uh, coming off, as you can see, this uh, little gauntlet here is actually painted red underneath. And that's the original factory paint. And the blue paint is coming off pretty easily on that. But this red paint is very thick. So uh, yeah, I'm going to put this back in the brake fluid for another sort of half an hour, maybe even an hour, and I'll come back to it then see what happens. It's at this point I'm sort of thinking have I bitten off more than I can chew because um, yeah this is going to be a real process to get this off. Is it worth it? You know can I spend all the time on it? Obviously I like spending time fixing toys but yeah at the moment this feels like a challenge too far. I'm not quite sure whether I'll, I'll ever be able to get this uh, looking as good as it was originally. It's just too thickly painted but we'll carry on for a little bit longer and see what happens. It's now an hour later, or actually it's a little bit more than that because I got sidetracked doing something else. But um, it's time to check the arm again and see what's happened to the paint. We'll see if it's got any better. <laughs> Thank you. 
it's now about an hour later and I've been scrubbing away at this art all of that time. You can see I've got quite a large chunk of the paint off and it's not looking too bad. The problem is though that that paint has actually stained the plastic underneath. So this should be a flesh colour much like his face there and you can see it's been stained this sort of nasty orangey brown sort of colour. And doing a bit of work on his legs as well I can actually see that his legs have been stained yellow because there's obviously yellow paint on there. So the question is now is it worth me continuing trying to uh, save this figure and I'm going to say in this instance no there's just too much work to be done to get all of this paint off and I don't think the end result is going to be that impressive we're going to end up with a figure with a very bright red arm bright yellow legs I've obviously got to find a replacement arm so yeah in uh, this instance I'm going to not admit defeat I'm just going to say it's just not worth the effort I think I probably could get him looking you know pretty reasonable but it's going to take so many hours I just don't think it's worthwhile so it's not often I say I'm sort of giving up on a project but for now this He-Man has beaten me he's going to go back in my box of uh, broken He-Man figures and at some point I may come back to him and have another go at him but for now yeah I'm just going to say it's just not worth the effort so I hope this video has been of interest to you I've sort of shown you a few processes and things that I do to uh, try and clean up figures but yeah this figure is just uh, too far gone for me to uh, warrant putting the time in to get him fixed up if you've enjoyed this video then make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to be notified each time I upload a new video and thanks for watching thanks for watching toy ploy subscribe for more great videos